Well, what's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new series of Planets Through Signs. And as always, we're going to start with the most important planet, which is Moon in Vedic Astrology. It's not the Sun, it's the Moon. Because Moon is your mind. Moon is really what sets you apart from other people, the way your Moon is designed in your horoscope. And so today we're going to start with Moon in Aries. And what happens when Moon is in the sign of Aries in your horoscope? Well, what is Moon in Aries represents? Well, since Moon is the mind and it sets your emotional response to other things, you are very aggressive in your approach to life. Your mind, your emotions are very quick, very judgmental, and they are um, very impulsive because Aries is a sign of impulsiveness. And so you're, you make quick decisions, but you make quick rational decisions. And due to the energy of Mars, you are very aggressive in your approach. So your personality becomes that, that bossy executive, you know, that bossy boss who wants to get things done and wants to take action. See, Aries is a sign of action. Like, let's take action. And so the mind is always thinking about taking action towards certain things. This is why this moon is very fond of sports action sports like running like cricket like basketball football hockey you know they, they love it they want to because they have a sense of their sense of purpose is sense of competition they need to have competition in their life in order for their mind to feel like yes i have a purpose in life to do something and so they become very very competitive they're very competitive natured people they're very impulsive when it comes to competition, when, when it comes to decision making, because Mars is just wants to win. Mars is that charging army, you know. They just want to come at you and they want to come at you with full force, with using their body, their mind and everything towards action. So very action oriented. So obviously this is a good thing if you are looking to achieve goals in life, you know, uh, whether and plus depending upon a certain ascendant, you will have different kind of goals. So let's say if Moon is in Aries, in the first house, that means Moon rules the fourth house of real estate, homeland, home, home business, you know, homeschooling. So your goals will be oriented towards that, in, uh, especially in the Dasha of Moon. And so this is why, you know, you always tend to take action and you always tend to be about action. You want other people just like you. Because if somebody's a little little lazy, let's say if Moon is in some other sign becoming lazy, you will tend to push that per person because you want, you think that everybody's thinking at your wavelength. And that's not true. And this is why you guys get into tremendous stress and mental agony because nobody's on the same page as you guys are. You know, you guys are just, want, just, just let's just take action. Hey, you want to go Vegas? Let's do it. Let's go right now. That's how it is. This Moon in the sign of fairies and this is where frustration can lead to anger especially if mars is aspecting moon from any sign or any house it leads to that frustrated anger within this person now seventh from the moon is always the seventh sign that represents your partner the kind of partners that you're inclined towards and because from aries libra becomes that seventh house you want a very diplomatic partner you want a very peace-loving, romantic, and diplomatic partner who's balanced in every approach. Why? Because your mind is so eccentric and always tend to like just orient towards action and just uh, be, be very active in your life. You want somebody subtle. You want somebody to balance your life out. So you're always attracted towards that Libra personality. Somebody who's a diplomatic personality. Somebody who is diplomatic yet also aggressive in taking a charge. And Libras are tend to do that. They balance things out and they're able to put that balance into action. So you guys are always uh, devoted towards a more romantic, more subtle partners. Whether it's a woman, whether it's a guy, they both look towards that same partner. You know, if it's a woman with a moon in the uh, Aries, she's all going to be like women rights and she's going to be about, you know, independent, independence of women. I am a woman and I can do this, I can do that. They get very, very defensive. 
in their approach towards other things, towards men, towards because of the fact not only women have been suppressed all throughout existence of human beings, you know, and they they still tend to be uh, suppressed in many uh, conditions, but when a woman has this Aries uh, moon, they tend to rebel against that and they 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 tend to fight everything that comes in the way so even if the guy loves them a lot and yet so, he may order her here and there that hey can you just do this because i i really want you to do this they'll get really defensive they'll really get you know um frustrated with, with themselves that why am i being ordered i'm the one who should be ordering you know so you got to balance that approach out uh, even with the guy and since this moon represents your mother. Your mother, mother were very aggressive in your approach. And she was also a very action-oriented person. As a parent, and your, your mother and you both are very action-oriented towards your children. Meaning that you will put your children through sport, sports. You will put, take them through all sorts of you know, activities in order to fulfill your duty as a mother or as a father. And your mother was also very action-oriented. She was very aggressive in handling you. She was very, uh, very, uh, you know, prudent about what what you do. Now, if Mars aspects that, then it can make a very aggressive, abusive mother as well. If Mars is excelled and looking at the moon, it can show a mother who was very disciplined, disciplinarian. Yet she was also abusive when she had to. She wasn't always, but when you messed up, she spanked your ass, uh, you know, from here to downtown. But if you have a debilitated Mars looking at the moon in the Aries, then your mom was just, she's just like, oh, uh, you're not behaving? Bam. You want to go there? Oh, you, you're, you're going to question me not taking you there? Bam. So they're just gonna, they can like aggressively, physically hit you. But the parenting skills of moon in the first house becomes a, that of somebody who, uh, you know, who gears their children, showing them love through physical activity. Okay? So guys, this was my analysis of Moon in the Aries. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below, above, wherever you see the subscribe button. And if you want to know where your moon is placed, check out the link below. Check out my book there, Astrology at the Speed of Light. And when you get the book, I will send you the link to look at your own chart. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with another beautiful video. And it's starting to rain. Oh my God. ये हम आ गए हैं कहाँ? Hey, what's up, all you cares lovers? So make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and please share my channel with all your family and friends who are in love with astrology. Because I'm the man when it comes to astrology. Okay? So make sure you do that, and I will see you tomorrow with another cool new video. Okay? Sorry, I love my coffee spike. Woo!